Hello, welcome to the unboxing of my new Netgear Centrina WNDR 4700. Now I'm going to show you the unboxing and then I'm going to show you how to set it up as well. So there should be everything you need to know about um, setting up this kind of router. Here it's here. Dimensions are 256mm by 206 by 85 It weighs 870 grams. It has five LAN ports, one WAN port, two USB 3s, one SD card slot, and there's the specs there, it does uh, the dual bandwidth as well. It has a two year warranty, plus 90 day basic customer support. You'll find though the warranty is only good for the country it was bought in. It cost about £100. Yeah, I had to shop about for that. Um, you can get it up to about £200. So. Yeah, it's here. It's fairly big. Got a cover on it as well. So. I'll, uh, I'll take that off shortly. It looks the part. You can see here as well that there's space for a hard drive in here. Um, not sure where that is yet, but we'll get to that. I'm not, not decided if I'm putting a hard drive in it yet. Possibly. We'll see. So anyway, that's the actual router itself. On the back here, you can see you've got a USB port. That's USB 3 and you've got four LAN ports and your internet ports coming from your, your uh, modem. Reset button, power button and power in. You've also got another USB 3 port, an SD card reader, backup switch, Wi-Fi on and off and WPS connect. Other side is nothing and top is nothing. Also on the box, there's another box, there we go, we've got instructions, we'll get to the other while, installation disc, transformer, and power cord. This is an adapter as well, this is for different hard drives. If I need a different hard drive, I've also got a, a LAN RJ45 cable. Um, so that's everything I need. First of all, before we get on with the setup, let's just take all the covers off and let's see how shiny and new it looks. Wow, that looks fab. That's him. That looks absolutely awesome. Quite heavy as well. Oh, here's a hard drive. There we go. Well, what you can see in there, hopefully, you can see a fair bit. Um, yep, that's the sort of hard drive it takes. Um, we've got the wee thing here to hold it in. I'm not sure why. Exactly what this is for. Um, ah, okay, it's for different thicknesses of hard drives. So we put this in if it was a thinner hard drive. Just slide that in there, and that way it takes up the gaps. So it would be that way, and that way the gap is taken up. And it's a um, if it's a three-quarter inch drive, I won't need anything. But if it's a Sorry, this is for a three quarter inch drive. The normal standard thick drives will just slip in there. So what I might do, I might actually do that. Um, we'll get to that in a wee while. Right, I'm at the stage now I'm going to switch this router on. So here we go. Let's see how good it looks. Because it should light up everything to start with. If you can find it. Oh, that looks good. 